Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page two of um, Enchanted Forest. And we are going to add um, a flat to the left hand side, and it is six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight. We're going to score a half inch on six and a half inch side. We're going to mount it flush to the left hand side. Peek it out. Make sure it's right side up. There we go. Oops, that's not very straight, is it? Mm, I hate when that happens. Let me see if I can lift it. Shift it a little bit on me. Might be able to get it off. Hard to say. Let's straighten that up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. If you don't burnish it, you've got some chance of just lifting it without having to deal with undo. Undo will definitely lift it, but then you have to wait for it to dry. And I'm terrible about waiting. I always want to rush it. Okay, good. All set. Now I'm going to slow down and make sure I do it right this time. way better so I was seeing this hanging off the edge a little bit now it's better okay so we're gonna add a magnet here and we're gonna have a little pop-up inside this one I'm gonna have a pop-up and I did um, some fussy cutting from one of the uh, 12 by 12 sheets. This is what I was looking for. I've got too much stuff on my desktop. Okay, now we're going to find its location on the other side. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know what's going on, but the last few months, when I've got a doctor's appointment coming up, my arthritis seems to have just gotten leaps and bounds worse. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully she can uh, help me figure out if there's something I can do with my diet to help uh, improve my inflammation. Okay, this is going to be our base. So this is going to be the background on which the pop-up is going to appear. So we can go ahead and lay that down. Again, this was six and a half by eight. Score half inch on six and a half inch side. double check before I go any further that I've got this right side up and I do okay now on this side I'm not sure what I'm putting there yet but I'm planning on putting this here yeah okay. just making sure that it was actually doing the click for me so uh, I'm going to use these two patterns on page three um, and I'm also using this pattern so I'm kind of going back and forth about whether or not I want to add this stripe here and because this is so busy um, if I do add this then I fussy cut these um, shields out or flags whatever I guess they're flags banners I have one more somewhere there it is. it's turned over as an accent on the top and then we could put a couple of stamps in the bottom, like so. 
yeah, the scale doesn't look right, does it? So I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so the other option is to look at pulling in one of these um, cards. And I kind of like this. So I think that's what I'm going to do is cut this out and add it here. So if I do this and this, then what am I going to do on the inside? So once we, once we pick this pattern, then I can, uh, we can add our pop-up. So this is from the 12 by 12 and I've starched it. So it's a little bit stiffer. Um, and that's going to be when we open this up, this is going to pop out a little bit. It's going to pop out a half inch. Um, and I kind of like, yeah, maybe I'll put these up here. I don't know. I'll, I'll look at that. Uh, you're going to need, let me set this aside, a strip of paper. And I already cut it. And I have that, I'm fussing around because I can't find it. Here it is. Okay, so this, this is three quarters of an inch wide. And it is three and three quarter inch long. You're going to score a half inch on this side rotate it and then you're going to score a half inch and one inch so it looks like this okay it's going to get installed this way this piece is going to get installed in the flap and this piece is going to get installed here and this flat surface is going to hold up our image so let's find the paper that we're going to use here we could i don't know if i want to use this green or not maybe that's the answer not sure. Okay, let's try this. So it needs to be trimmed. I think about an eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. I got the right height. Perfect. Okay, let's ink our edges. Okay, so now this is going to be installed like so. So let's get our image like so. Okay, so you've got this hook around. So when the I know it's hard to see the pattern on pattern. Why don't I cut another strip of something else so you guys can see what I'm doing? Uh, here, this will work. So you've got a half inch on this side, and then I'm just gonna tear this. You've got a half inch and an inch. Okay. So the, this half inch and this half inch are going to be adhered. This will go directly onto this page, and then this will go onto this page, and that's where you're going to get the height. So the way to find this location is when you close 
when you close the page, after we glue this on this side, when we close the page, put it in the closed position, sorry. It should go like so. And when you put it in the open position, it's going to pull back on this. So that's the way it should work. So again, one side's going to have a half inch and an inch. The other side's only going to have a half inch. When you mount this side, you want to make sure you are on the left-hand side of the score. Um, and I'm trying to figure out height right now. This doesn't have to come across the whole back. It just has to reach at least to the center. If you want to make this a little bit longer, you can. Now what I want to see is what it's going to look like when it's in the complete uh, pop-up. So it's going to look like that. Okay, so I think I want to float it slightly off the bottom and this looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on here and it's just a strip of matching paper. It doesn't have to be because not much of it's gonna show. And again, we're gonna go on the left side of the score line. Okay, now to ensure that it's going to lay flat when it's closed, we're going to fold it back so that only one half inch is exposed. We're going to put glue on that and then we're going to close it. Press it into place and that's how you find the opposite side. Then we'll add our element to the top of that. Give it a second so that you don't pull it back up, which I did. So I'll give it a little bit more time. Of course, you could do tape too, so you don't have to wait. I didn't even think of that until just now. Okay. Oh, that didn't, I did it wrong. Sorry about that, guys. I need to do it like this. Is that right? Yeah. I need to fold. I need to put, I put the glue on the right side, but I need to fold it back to the one inch. So that's, I think I can cover some of that. Some of it's going to be covered by this, so I'm not really terribly concerned. But I think I can make it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so take that back now. So still glue on the first half inch, but then when you close it, you're going to close it like this. And then when it pulls up, it's going to pull. There we go. First, you don't succeed. This time I'm going to use tape so you don't have to wait. So I was very much inspired by this particular artist from Russia. Um, she has a walkthrough and you'll see some things that look very similar, uh, if not almost exactly the same. I really liked what she did. So I'm going to um, add her to the credits and then I'm also going to add a link to um, a pop-up channel where I learned some of these techniques years ago when I did the Aesop's Fable Um album. I learned some of these pop-up techniques, but I haven't used them in so long. I'm kind of relearning. Okay. Now the first half inch has adhesive. The second half inch does not. Fold it to the second half inch and close it. There. Now you see it's working as expected. I got this mess here, but she should cover it. Yeah. She, it's all going to be tucked in behind. So 
Now I'm going to add some glue to this. It's still not dry on this side. Wow, I'm really surprised. Usually it dries really fast when the heater's on. Okay, so I'm going to add her right here. I'm going to add glue to um, the top of this. And I take that back. I'm going to do tape so we don't have to wait on it. Should be enough. Okay, I'm going to straighten this up on my grid and of course you don't want to put her over like this well actually yeah you can she can go all the way to the edge if you want but I'm going to put her over a little bit like so it's going to be up slightly I think I got a little too much tape. Okay, so I'm gonna um, take off this little bit of tape here. I just score it and then I roll it off. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there she is. Lovely, lovely. Now I'm gonna put uh, some embellishment here. So these are the items that I fussy cut um, from the 12 by 12 sheet. It's a, it's a little bit of work, but I think it's worth it. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. So the other thing we could consider is these flags, which look okay, but I think the flourish looks better. So let's see. I like that. So I have another little piece up here. Okay, I'm gonna add this down here. I'm gonna ink the edge best I can. It's, um, it's got a lot of detail in it, so sometimes you can't get into all the corners. And it'll just make it pop a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna add that down here. Okay, I like that. I like this up here. Nope. I think that's it. So this is the other element. I think I like this better. This is really pretty, but it. I think this balance is better with this. So we're going to add this up here. And I'm going to keep part, ink it and then um, keep part of it open-ended. So if we need to tuck a photo under it, and then here, you know, you could have your photo tucked slightly here. So the location of this strap will depend, you know, will dictate how low you can put your picture. Um, unless you go on the outside of it. And that's partly why I didn't want this to come all the way to the edge because I can tuck it so that more of the photos exposed as I open 
uh, the flap. Um, if you have it come all the way across, then that's what happens. It's, it's still cool, but not quite as interesting as if you, if you can get a little bit of an overlap. And again, this location is going to dictate how far down you can go. My strip is right about here, which I would say is at the top of my strap is right around the halfway mark. And the bottom would be about a third. So let me ink this and lay down. And then we need to um, dress the front of this. Is that right? Yes. And then I can tell that's a little bit tacky yet. So I might put some talc on it. And that's where I um, pulled up the pop-up mechanism because I installed it incorrectly the first time. So hopefully that all makes sense. It's fairly straightforward. You, you may want to take a couple pieces of scrap and you know do it so you're comfortable but it is pretty straightforward even though i messed it up but hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes so now it's just a question of where do i want this i kind of like it slightly turned So I'm adding glue to what I think are some of the um, areas that are delicate. Um, everything I'm putting down, I did um, starch. So um, it is a little bit stiffer than it would normally be. And then you should be able to tuck slip. just like so. Okay, so you could do um, a, two four by fours. You could do a larger, let's see what is this? This is four and a half. So you could do a six by four and then a four by four. So you got some options. I like this look here. The, a lot of work, but I think it looks really pretty and it looks especially lovely um, over the edge of a photo. Okay, so that's done, at least for now. So I added this and this. Now we need to find our cover. And, and it also looks nice closed, as you can see. So our cover, I do want to incorporate this green somehow. And I've got this, which we just used. No, we didn't. We used something else on the inside. So thinking about that but i'm going back and forth so if i do this i've already got this here um that's too too busy i don't like it oh i know we were going to do an ephemera i think we're going to do this night so i'm going to cut that out And this sort of settles things down a little bit with the black edge, I think, because that's a lot going on there. Okay, so this needs to be trimmed down just a little bit. Looks like about an eighth of an inch. I'm using Powder Puff Mahogany. This is my go-to color, especially with Graphic 45 collections.
I like this pattern, but you can see it's very, very red compared to this. So this, if you want to pull in the red, this is your option. Although I still am supposed to pull in the green because this is on the other um, page. You see if I've got something of. Hmm, I don't like that. It's not quite wide enough. Do I have something thicker? A little bit, yeah. Hmm. I kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Just so you can see, I'm looking offline at page three, so I'll pull it in so you get a sense of what's going on on this side. So over here, we're going to have, that's why I'm trying to minimize this pattern because it's a lot side by side. And then we're going to have this um, pop-up feature that opens up. So... I think I like this. Um, I think this is going to be, this is it. So I think uh, trying to decide if I want to do a fishtail down here to make it look like a banner. Ooh. I have to decide because I can't, I can't redo it. All right. I was just evening up the uh, the black outline because I don't think I'm going to put it on cardstock. I think I'm just going to lay it down. I'm going to see what it looks like. And if I don't like it, then I'll add some cardstock behind it. But since it's already got a black frame, I don't think it's that important. So I'm going to go back and forth on this, and here's why. Um, I think that this makes for a beautiful closed position, but then it means you can't really use this real estate for a photograph. So, so I'm thinking about that. So one of the things that we could do to allow for a photograph is make this a belly band on the flap and have uh, an insert. And if we do that, then I got to think about what color that insert is going to be. Because I would want to flip it around. I wouldn't want the, paint, the um, photograph exposed. It could be that we could reintroduce this black pattern, I think. That's a lot. That's too much. I wish I had another black, but that's all we've got to work with. Um, I do have a gold. Let's see what that looks like. I don't mind it. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Did I use all? No, here it doesn't look. Did I use it all? So this would be the gold. And that would be what's behind the belly band. And I don't like that at all. So that's not going to work. It needed to be a black. Well, you know what? We do have this pattern. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work either. <laughs> My goodness. I think this works, but not with the green on top because you've got a diamond and a square, two um, geometric shapes. I needed something that was more organic. Um, okay, so given all that nonsense that we just went through, I'm just going to put this down as a um, design element. Put a little bit of white on it. And so this band is two inches wide. And again, you can make this about easily make this a belly band so that you can get a photo or something in there. The other option too is to make this a card that opens up 
and you can have a photo on top and bottom, but I already did my magnets. I don't want to add another magnet. So I'm not liking this, so I'm going to put a black card stuff behind it. It just makes it, it's just a little tiny bit bolder. And I, I like that. I can see the difference. I can also feel the difference. Now, as for that strip, what I'm trying to decide is if I want to, uh, if I want to add black behind it as well. Yeah, I like it better. I think I do. I think I'll put a, a black strip. Put this on a black strip. Let's see. There we go. Sweet, sweet, too. This must be too dark. go off center just a little and then I'm going to center this Actually, I'm going to go a little lower since we've got this sort of eye-catching feature over here already. There we go. Okay, so that is page two. So I'm um, going to take a break. I'm going to double-check some of my measurements, make sure I've got mo most of my paper picked up. Basically, what happened is I designed page three first, and that's why I was, you know, trying to reincorporate this pattern so that we've got you know, a good spread um, between the two pages. I always like to consider what's opposing um, the page so that there's, you know, significant flow. Okay, so I'll come back and we will be working on page three and I think you're gonna like it. I know I do. Um, okay, that's it for page two, back soon.